big up on herself. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Y'all, I came across this clip. I don't want us to watch it together. Y'all, this is a, a valuable lesson. It's a little long. It's about three minutes long, but y'all just take the three minutes. Watch this video on speed if you must. But we're we going to take something away from this. Before we dive into it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, come on, hit the subscribe button. Let us watch this, y'all. Is what they mean when they say marriage is hard. Cero acierto. Cero acierto. Un acierto. So they're basically trying to match the bottles. Y'all watch the dynamic between, I think this is husband and wife. Watch the dynamic between them, y'all. Cero acierto. Pay attention who is right, and then pay attention who has the need. Kevin Samuels talks a lot about that need to be right. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Yeah. Hard headed woman make the worst wife. Hard headed. Just want to be right. See? Kill our dead, she right? God bless his heart. So if you switch it and you say it instead of zero, then wouldn't you switch it back? She don't want him to touch those two even though it's zero. Oh God, this stressing me out. Te vas a caer tú solito. No estás jugando bien. Vas a perder. No. Te dije aquí la naranja y aquí el fucsia. No va. Va a voltear. Aquí va el fucsia. No, aquí va el fucsia. Sí. 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 Yal, yal, yal. Pay attention to her facial expression. This is what they mean when they say marriage is hard. Wait, hold on. You see her facial expression when they won? This lady did not want to win at this game. She wanted to be right. Y'all saw her face when they won and got all five? How upset she was? This proves that this lady did not necessarily want to win at the game. She had the need to be right. She wanted to be right more than she wanted to win. We're talking about a dynamic between a husband and a wife. A woman like that cannot take leadership. Cannot take telling you cannot lead a hard headed woman nowhere. They're so selfish and a lot of modern women. Let me, let me get into it. Let me preach. Y'all hit the like button. We're going to preach. 
a lot of modern women have this hard headedness about us. Actually, about y'all, because I'm redeemed. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I learned my lesson. I did the work. I sat in therapy and I, I did what I had to do to, to drop those toxic traits. So I'm not going to mix myself into that category. A lot of y'all too hard headed, stuck in that need to be right. Stuck in that. Oh, I'm an independent woman. Nobody can't tell me nothing. For, to what extent? But at the same time, y'all want an alpha male. At the same time, y'all want a man to leave, protect, provide. How are you, you going to provide for somebody who is not even going to take telling from you? Come on, man. You know no better than that as a cool person. Come on, man. Let me tell y'all. The hard-headedness in this woman will make this man's life a disaster. Okay? She is more concerned about being right. That needs to be right. She's more concerned about being right than actually winning a game with her husband. Than actually focusing on the, on the, the end goal. Y'all saw her face when they won. She was upset that her husband was right rather than rejoicing that they won the game. Make it make sense, y'all. Make it make sense. We're Kevin Samuels. Yeah. This, you can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. Young ladies, I'm encouraging you to, to take a step back and do some self-reflection. Is this you? Do you have these kind of qualities? Do you have these kind of traits? Do you feel like your pride and ego comes before your love life? Can you take telling from a man? If a man say go left and in your hearts you believe that the right thing is to go right, will you be able to humble yourself, put your pride to the side and go left with this man? If the answer to that is no, then you're not ready for the kind of man you say you desire. Sit in a therapist's chair, do the, the inner work, self-reflect, ball if you have to. I'm going to share a, a story with y'all. A, a private story, I guess. I don't know the word I'm looking for. But I'm going to share a story with y'all real quick. Um, back when I was doing my, you know, reflection and looking into myself and asking myself a hard question, I'm like, dang, why my love life sucks? And I came to the realization that you are the average of your five closest friends or something like that. And when I look at my five closest friends at the time, they were very masculine, very hard-headed, very independent, driven, um, career woman who, um, alpha, the alpha male. And I'm like, dang, if I'm the average of my five closest friends and my five closest friends are all, rah, 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 I'm I, rah. it was a hard pill to swallow. And when I tell y'all, I bawled when I realized that I cried living, I water ball. When I realized that because I'm like, damn, that's not who I desire to be. And the kind of man that I want, not going to want a woman like that. And that I came to that realization even after I found Kevin Samuels, even after I started my YouTube channel. And just to open up, I'm not coming from a place of perfection. I say that all the time. I am still learning. So I'm coming to certain realizations even now. I had years and years of programming, being this overly independent, being this go to school and don't take no telling from the man because you're a man clown. Don't be no yamed for the man. Don't let the man tell you what to do. Get your education because even when you have a man and him gone, your education not going to go nowhere. All of those, all of those advice I got when I was younger was seep into my mind, was seep into my subconscious. So it's not going to be night and day. Oh, I found Kevin Samuels and all of a sudden I'm an indie, I'm a, um, pardon me. I'm a feminine woman. All of a sudden I'm a, I'm a submissive woman because I started a YouTube channel. No, to be a transparent with y'all, I am still working on myself. And to see a video like this, honestly, it kind of, you know, like I can probably, this was probably me a couple years ago. I mean, I know this is some of the friends that I used to associate myself with, definitely for sure. That's, that's some of them. I had to take a huge pill, humble myself, and do the work so I can attract the quality man that I want in my life, so I can attract a masculine leader. 
right? An alpha male because they can't have two alpha. You can't have two chefs in the, the kitchen, two bull in a pen, right? You need a pilot and a co-pilot. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. This was a, this, as I said, this was a, a video that will help you reflect. Men, if you're watching, leave this in the comment. Hold, hold this video, make you feel. Because I, I, my frustration was coming out at this lady. This man have more patience than me. Because if it was me, would I walk off long time? I would have walked off at the 30 second mark. I'll be like, figure it out yourself. Do it yourself then. You good. You have it. You have it, Miss Marty Pants. You have it. Do it yourself. Some of these men have so much patience. Like, y'all good. But anyways, y'all, it's your girl Chantel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have not already, go ahead and hit the like button. And young ladies, as I'm encouraging you to just self-reflect, right? Look within. Is this you? Do you have some qualities? What qualities do you, toxic traits, do you have that you will have to work on before you become qualified for the kind of man you want? And bear in mind, too, it's not a one-way street. I know the chicken heads won't come over here, about blah, 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 whatever you say, sis, let's sit in the corner. It is not a one-way street because a lot of these men also have to do the work. That's a topic for another day we can talk on. How some of these single mama raised men? Yeah. Anyways, Thank y'all so much for watching. Hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, y'all.